Wherever there is soil, there can be, and usually are, weeds. While in many ways weeds provide an environmental value, they can also be a cause for concern. And today, we take a closer look at some potentially troubling invasive plants. Like a lot of scientists, Dr. Brian Botter can find himself investigating one concern only to uncover another. It happened while Botter with the University of Florida's Institute of Food and Agricultural Services was researching a deadly palm disease called lethal bronzing. We were actually in a nursery because we believed that some of the weeds served as a reservoir or a source of infection for lethal bronzing in the palms. What he found instead was the first North American case of a harmful phytoplasma disease in one of the most rapidly spreading weeds throughout South Florida and the country. The bacteria is known for its threat to fruit, vegetable, and ornamental crops in South America. There's potential that this phytoplasma could jump into a crop of importance. While in this case, the weed appears to be a host for the destructive bacteria, Dr. Lynn Geddes is focused on invasive aquatic and wetland plants that can be harmful in many ways. We've got a long history of having aquatic weed invasions in Florida. One of the new invaders is called Crested Floating Heart, which used to be cultivated in winter gardens. It escaped cultivation and got into our natural waters and has now become one of our most problematic weeds because it interferes with the flow of water. So if we have a tropical event like a storm, we can have increased flooding. Once identified, whether on water or on land, researchers say the key is weed management and control. In a perfect world, we want to catch these before they really get established and really take off. So prevention is really the best strategy here. Yeah, prevention is key because herbicides have limited benefit and also present risk to the environment. And we don't want to wipe out all weeds because, as we said at the beginning, many are in fact beneficial, providing food for animals and protecting soil from erosion.